Um, okay, so hello, good morning. We are uh, officially 31 kilometer runners. I ran 19.1 miles on Friday. It is now Tuesday. Um, and I did it in three hours and 10 minutes. As you might already know, if you've been watching, I've only been running for the past six months. Um, through my life, I've sporadically ran never more than 30 minutes of my life, never well, never really looked into technique, never really thought about technique, never really thought about myself as a runner in general. Uh, I am athletic, so it's not that I um, couldn't ever see myself running. Obviously, if I went for 30 minutes every once in a while, I would do it. However, I've never considered myself a good runner nor have I considered myself someone who should pursue running. I've had many injuries. I've broken both of my feet. Uh, I've sprained my one ankle in three different places, my foot in two different places, my other side I've sprained twice. I've dislocated my knee. I've kicked a sea urchin and had to have spikes surgically removed from my foot. I've broken toes. I've done so many things to my lower body that I just never believed I could or should distance run or run as a consistent thing ever. And now here we are prepping for our first marathon, the BMO marathon in Vancouver, British Columbia. I am so excited. And the fact that I ran 31 kilometers and I felt pretty okay after, meaning I walked to a coffee shop afterwards and met up with a girlfriend. I walked my dog after that. Um, I didn't have to take any major naps. <laughs> Means that I think we're okay. Like we'll finish the marathon. And people keep asking me what I think my time would be. It's my first marathon. Um, I'm building my container, so I'm just looking for a good time. That's the time finish, a good time. I also have a goal to not injure myself. Like, that's a really big one. I, I would really like to come out of the marathon being able to be physically active a couple days later, even go for a run a couple days after that. So if I can do that, that would be fabulous. And then if I decide I want to continue with distance and endurance training, then then maybe I'll set a goal for the next one. But for now, today is the first day of our week. We start on Tuesdays. We do Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for our runs. And uh, we're starting with a six mile run out in the dreary Vancouver weather that is happening. So uh, let's just do it because I've been avoiding it. I was waiting out the rain and it turns out it's not going anywhere. Time to get wet. Okay, we are back 6.08 miles, which is like 9.85 kilometers. We're going to round it up to 10. I could only do a 9.24 minute per mile pace today for that short run. I was gassed. That was way harder than it should have been. My energy was just garbage. I don't even know. I don't even know, but we did it. And that's what matters. Um, VO2 max is reading at 49, just so much slower than usually what I can do on this run per week. So it, it's just what it is. We still got the mileage in. That's what's so important is like pushing through and it's not about the speed at the end of the day. Like, as I said, at the starting of this, it's my first marathon. It would be, I think, irresponsible of me to think that after never being a distance runner in my life and being completely new to running distance that I could just all of a sudden run fast. I mean, if I, maybe if I was born with the right goods, you know, those athletes that can just pick up and do anything. If I was born like that, Maybe I could do it, but I was born me, not like that, so it is what it is. Um, I now have to take Luna for a walk outside, and then I'm going to make some food because maybe my low energy 
is just due to under eating with all the training that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do that. I am so excited to shower. Maybe I'll bat. Green eyed and bright at 18, a face from mainstream, a walking daydream, ice cream, sweet life of peaches. Okay, this is funny. We're just getting back. Luna is so being driven. I'm just gonna show you. She's patiently waiting. I'm gonna show you how much of a pain she has. Seen the scene, sweet life like on the big screen. No doubt, I'm wishing it was me. I want to put you on a pedestal, eat you like a cannibal. Maybe it's chemical, but I want to keep you like a fucking collectible. How are you? How are you? And the way she moves is incredible. That's enough for today. I'm not going to actually go to the gym. I sometimes do double ups. Um, I did work out yesterday, do, do. <laughs> I worked out yesterday though. And um, I'm also just like pinning my hair up right now, so don't mind me. Uh, I did a leg day yesterday and then did my six mile workout today. And I honestly think that I could have went and did an upper body, but I'm going to see how I'm feeling tomorrow because I feel, as I said, after that run gassed and I did not run fast, uh, but it felt like I was going to die, which is very abnormal for me. So I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to chill. I'm going to eat a lot more food. So you saw my bagel with egg, egg white. Um, I put nutritional yeast in it. So it tastes like kind of like cheese meat and uh, a little bit of avocado and lettuce. And then that bowl of cereal. I love cereal. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. If I could have cereal for every meal, I would. It's just not nutritionally viable for me. So <laughs> I do have to have other food, sadly. Anyways, um, I'll call it today and I will see you in the morning for our eight mile run, our cold plunge event, and then likely a workout. dense it is. It's so thick. You should juice it. Put a peanut butter and jam on it. Finish my coffee and then attempt to eat hour in the morning when I get up to go on my next step. I have no idea if that is how it's going to work. It's more going to be dependent on my flow. <laughs> because the last thing that you want as a runner, which if you're a runner you know this, is to have your flow come up midway through your run this early in the morning when there are no public bathrooms open. <laughs> so, here's to flow. Uh, it is now 5.43, so 20 minutes later. That was pretty good, pretty impressed with that. Um, I am dressed in bright clothes, the same sweater as yesterday, and a hat, even though it's pitch black in the morning because it's raining again. I would be lying if I said I was excited about that um, or even just okay about it because running in the rain is not fun. There's some days where I just don't care, like I'm neutral. It's like, whatever, let's run. Um, this is not one of those days, nor was yesterday. So, <laughs> second day in a row where I'm just like really not vibing being soggy for over an hour outside. But we have an eight mile run to get completed. It's meant to be an RP 3, 4 out of 10. RP is rate of perceived exertion. Um, 
based on how I was feeling yesterday, I was not able to push for my five, six. So I think I might actually just save pushing myself for my long run because I'm testing my half marathon time, um, which is really exciting. And then my next long run will be over 20 miles, which is closer to that full 42 kilometer distance. I am wearing very bright clothes because I don't want to get hit by a car. So I want them to see me. And again, it is pitch black because it's five, 45 in the freaking morning. Okay, let's go do eight miles and then come back and go to a cold plunge event that I am a part of. Go dive into the ocean for three minutes because it'll feel really, really good after this. <clears throat> I am back. I cut it short at 5.24 miles, which is, I think that's nine, okay? Because 6.2 is 10. Something like that it was just shy of 10 kilometers. Um, I have a cold plunge event that I have to get to for 7.30 at Kitts Beach. Um, I ran at a 8.50 minute per mile pace for 46 minutes and 20 seconds, and I'll just have to finish my mileage later. I'm gonna be honest, part of this wetness is tears, <laughs> quite literally. I am absolutely soaked. Joey can attest to this because he took Luna out for a walk. How wet is it outside? It's very, very wet. It's like actually, it's not, it's not running weather. It's not running weather right now. It's atrocious. It's like downpour, like torrential downpour. And I thought that it was going to lighten up a bit and it just didn't. And honestly, I was not there for it. Um, but I did it and that's, what's the most important part. And I'm really proud of myself for that. So I'm just going to like give myself a pat on the back for sticking it out for the time that I did for only pulling back to get this stuff done. Now I need to actually change and get ready to go to the beach. So, uh, or else me stopping just makes no point. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's not an enjoyable run at all. And makes me a little bit nervous to go later, but at least my stuff's already wet. So can't get any wetter than this. Whew. Once we breathe, we're gonna go all together into the shoreline and then we're gonna go into the water at the same time i'll add some, a couple of details afterwards and then the third pillar is Did it. i'm freezing though so um i'm not gonna do a very long speech here <laughs> turn on my car go home and take a really really hot bath so yay i'm so proud I feel a lot better after doing it, to be honest. Um, though it is really cold outside and it's raining super hard and it was really difficult. It felt very good, so. Hi. Okay, I am going to go and complete the eight miles now. I have two point seven six miles left to go it has stopped raining for like the teensiest window and uh my other shoes are still absolutely soaked it's 5 p.m 5 p.m that means that they have been absolutely sopping wet for almost 12 hours <laughs> and they haven't dried thank god i did not get rid of my old shoes we're going back to the bangers best hits album let's go <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just have to get it to 2.7 miles done, so it'll be about 25 minutes. And I'm just going to boot scoot around the neighborhood, and then I have to take Luna for another walk. Surprise! My routine is so surprising to everybody. Alright, that's it. Bye! I think I like this little life. This little life. I'm back. 2.76 miles uh, at an 8.50 minute per mile pace, which is on par for this morning's run. And now I have completed the eight miles that I needed to do today. And I think it's just really important for me to take a moment to say that this isn't about perfection. Okay, like it's, yeah, I have eight miles today. Could I do them tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I had already started my mileage today. There's nothing wrong with splitting up your mileage if you have to. Life happens. Life isn't going away just because you're in prep. 
Um, even if you were a professional athlete and being paid for this, there's going to be stuff that comes up and disrupts your rhythm and you just have to be willing to be adaptable and willing to put in the time and the effort in a way that makes sense throughout your weeks and give yourself the best chance that you can give yourself. So did I fail today's mileage because I didn't do it all in one go this morning? No. Luna, can you shush, please? You're being a dink. Come here. Star of the show, always. She's like, I would like to be on camera. Thanks. Um, guys, I went for two runs this week. I'm a runner now. I'm a runner now. She goes with dad, not with mom, because mom doesn't have the patience for her. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to take her for a walk now. Because, again, my life is so surprising. I'm guessing you can't even guess what I was going to do next. And then we're going to cook up some dinner. I'll show you what we have for dinner. And, um, and then I'll probably cap this because that's two workout days. If you guys want to see more days, like an actual like, workout training um, plan, like the lower body days that I do, the upper body days that I do at the gym, or maybe a combo, like maybe a double up day where I do running in the morning, um, with the gym included and then some nutrition paired in there for what I'm eating throughout the day. I would be more than happy to do that, but for now, let's go for a walk. Okay. Okay, it is officially evening, it's 9.03 p.m. We are getting ready for bed. Um, Joseph and I try to be in bed by nine. Um, it's just past right now. We just took Luna for her last walk of the eve. And uh, yeah, it's because we wake up at five. So <sighs> he is much better. And by much better, I mean he actually does it every time. He gets out of bed as soon as his alarm goes off at five. No questions asked, no thoughts, no even like impulse to snooze. And I am a snoozer and I know that I, that will um, improve my quality of my day if I stop doing it. And yet here we are, uh, years of practice in snoozing. So um, we're about to head to bed and I'm about to snooze my way into the day tomorrow if anybody else snoozes please like make me feel better about this because it's so real um thank you for coming and hanging out with me these past two days uh we did a six mile and an eight mile run back to back so tuesday wednesdays are always back to back i get thursdays off from running and i generally do a workout i'm going to do an upper body workout tomorrow then i have another eight mile run on Friday and then I have <clears throat> my long run on Sunday and I'm challenging my half marathon time so to date we've just ran the half marathon distance at like an RPE rate of perceived exertion of two to three so like chill um, I think my best time has been 208 with that however we shall see I would love to be able to get it done in like two hours if I could however we're a beginner still and I've only been running for six months and like taking it more seriously for six months and um so we're still building our ability to even run at all two hours you know what no we're we're gonna try for two hours and we're gonna be very happy with even if it's like 205 okay anyways I will update you next week as to how that goes um Joy and I will also be doing on one of the long runs we're gonna run 40 kilometers together but we're gonna stop every 10 kilometers at a coffee shop and get like a snack and a coffee and then continue on and that's gonna be like a little date for us so I will film that as well I think you'll love it because I am so excited <laughs> Anywho, um, thank you again for watching. I know I've been just like kind of rambling this last little bit, but 
and my hair is so wild. Wow. Okay, I love you. You are so much more powerful than you will ever know, and I hope to keep discovering that with you together through these. I'll catch you next week. Thank you.